In Sunday's very short gospel passage, we find the inspiration for our 40 days of Lent from the 40 days Jesus was in the desert before his public ministry. Jesus accepted our humanity, and so he would experience what people experience. That Jesus was tempted in the desert highlights that when we set our hearts on something spiritual, really entering into the days of Lent, perhaps going on a retreat, or sometimes just setting aside some special time for scripture reading or prayer, we may well find we are tempted as well. At the very least, we will be distracted from time to time. As it happens with so many good intentions in life, let's not be surprised it's happening with spiritual good intentions. But we can handle them as Jesus did because he journeys with us and models behavior for us. While there would have been the possibility of real wild beasts in the wilderness for, for Jesus, for us we can also think of the beasts as those wild ideas or delusions that again draw us away from spiritual quests. There's always something else to do. There's always tomorrow when we might get started. It's one of the great distractors from doing good. But we can stay faithful to our intentions just as Jesus did because again he journeys with us. Finally, there is also the reminder that the angels minister to Jesus. It is the teaching of our faith that each of us has a guardian angel, a spiritual being to help us stay on the straight and narrow way of life. And we are also taught that we can anticipate God's grace to help us to do good and to succeed in the positive aspects of life. We are helped even as Jesus was in his 40 days in the wilderness. Jesus was successful in resisting those temptations, as we know from the other gospel accounts of those days. And we will be all the more successful when we are ready to admit we can't make this spiritual journey on our own, but rather success will come from a cooperation with all the ways God is present in our lives. Let us not be afraid to take on Lent, for as Jesus said, this is the time of fulfillment, the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Let us do that during this first week of Lent.